people and welcome to Click Team Fusion Tutorials. This is 2.5 of the developer Click Team Fusion. Um, you can also get a free trial, it'll work just the same. I think you can just not have as many things on screen and you also can't sell your games, I think it's something like that. So, um, today I'm going to be telling you how to make a basic platformer in Click Team Fusion 2.5. So let's get into it. So first you want to come go up to File and then New. This is basically all your levels for your game. So far we're just going to have one. So let's double click on the thumbnail and here we are. This is your first level. Nothing much at the moment but we can change that. So if you right click on the screen and go to the option Insert Object. Here you will have a list of all the things you can do um, but we're going to make an active object click somewhere in the screen and here you go this is going to be you let me just turn grid off okay this is you so if you double click on your character you can um, edit what he looks like so you can just like scribble on the screen or something I'm just gonna make something very quickly um, I'll make a green person I guess and he's gonna have like two dots for an eyes. <laughs> there we go this is Michael okay so here we have Mr. Michael um, this is our player so next we're going to want to go down to movement and type we'll change that from static to platform this is very cool because it will just give us the basics for a platform so if you press F7 it will play your current uh, scene and you'll see he has nothing to stand on so he'll just fall and die so next we're gonna have to make another object active put it somewhere in the level double click on it I'm gonna clear it again I mean you guys can spend more time on this or something we'll get more into um, animating the sprites and stuff next episode so an easy way if you're not very good at making ground texture if you're not wanting to do like lots of individual te like texture or something go over to this tool and just get one slightly darker or slightly lighter than the thing you put as a background and just literally scribble all over it and then you'll get one lighter again scribble all over it let's get one darker this time and let's get one even darker and let's get one a bit lighter and there we go if you carry on doing this you'll get something that looks pretty cool in the end so I guess this is going to be our dirt texture it looks a bit like a scribble from over here um, no I don't know how to zoom in okay um, so we're gonna make this a tad bit bigger so it we don't have to copy and paste as many so basically we're going to hold control C no control C after you've highlighted it and the control V and you'll get this again just click somewhere in the level and you get it I'm just gonna put tons of these down for me to use and next if you want to come up here it makes it a lot easier snap to grid now you're going to make all of these go pretty much on the same layer so let me just do that okay now that's done you'll see that if I press F7 he'll still fall through it that's because we haven't made this ground solid yet well at least for little old Michael so if we come up here there should be a, a tool called the event editor we'll click on that and you'll see this this may look a bit complicated at first or it may not depending on what you think but this is very simple you literally just right click on here and now we're going to click on active which is basically our person and then we'll go over to collision another object and then we're going to choose our ground now if we come over to where little Michael is the little box underneath right click on that movement and stop this will make it so when he falls on the ground he'll get stopped and he won't fall through so by default this is what how he feels He's, he jumps very low in my opinion and he's quite smooth to move I guess so I'm going to change some of the settings for him to do this you click on him here 
go down to the running man again. I'm going to change his speed to 60 because I like quite a fast character. And now I'm going to change his gravity to 25 because I want him to jump higher. And his strength to 75. That'll also make him jump a bit higher. So if I press F7 now. There we go. Um, you'll see that he jumps higher. Yay. I don't want him to jump too high, but you can make him go to the moon if you wish. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about. These are the jumping controls. You can have no jump, a jump where you press up and left and up and right to jump, and if you don't, if you press up on its own, nothing will happen. Button one, which by default is set to shift, and button two, which by default is set to control. I'm going to use the button two because if someone plays this game and finds out they've got st sticky keys on, that's going to be very annoying for them. Okay. So now we got that. We're going to. Uh, I'm just going to quickly. Well, just put the rest of the level in, I guess. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to get rid of a little bit of this because I want there to be a gap to jump across. And now we're going to have to make an end post. So if I put a little bit here for the post to stand on. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and I'm going to make a new object. Insert object. Active, as always. I'm going to turn this off so I can be a bit more accurate with what I'm doing. And I'm just basically going to make a very simple ring. It's going to be a gold ring because I grew up with playing Sonic. So there. That's my excuse. Okay. So this is going to be where our level ends. So if we go into the event editor. New condition. Our character. Collision. Another object. Our ring. And then if we go across to our character. No, it's not character, sorry. Go over to sto storyboard controls right click and then go jump to frame but we're not going to do that right now because we don't currently have another frame so I'm just going to copy and paste this frame as if you recreate it from scratch you won't have all the assets that you just made and you'll have to do it all over again so I'm just going to rename this and oops rename it and call it frame 2 there we go and I'm also going to put it underneath just so it's like it's the second level, you know? So if I go on this very quickly, you'll see it looks exactly the same as my current frame 1. It's because I've just copied and pasted it. So if I go into the um, event ed editor on frame 1, not frame 2, storyboard, and then jump to frame. Now I'm going to select frame 2. So this means if I run my entire game, not just a frame, so you'll have to press F8. If you press F7, it'll only load frame 1. And frame 1 won't let you go to the next level. Because it'll look a little bit like this. This just won't work. So if I press F8 and do it, there you go. I've got an infinite loop. <laughs> so there we go. I haven't actually added something to make it go to the next frame on frame 2 because there is no next frame. So the level might be a bit easy at the moment. So we're going to change that by putting a little death thing in here. I'm going to make s I'm just going to make some very basic lava which is literally just going to be red. Of course we'll get into the, the animations and repainting and stuff in the next episode. So if I just make this red and okay. Turn this on. I'm just going to fill this up, oops, fill this up with these, there we go, I think that's about right, and now we have to make it so when we touch it we'll die, so if we go into the event editor, pretty much the same as always, collision, another object, the lava this time, and here we're going to right click and go down to destroy. This means when we touch it, we die. Yes. 
Now I'm going to show you one more thing for this tutorial. And that's going to be a basic background. We can get more into detail with this later. But for now we just want a very basic background. So you want to go down to quick backdrop and put it in. I'm going to put this in the top left and I'm going to turn this off. Now if I go down into here, the settings, go down to type, change that from solid color to gradient. Now I'm going to have going to click on this again. Oops. And I'm going to drag this out so it fills my entire screen. Well, not my entire screen, the entire game screen. And now I'm going to make this vertical because it looks a bit more like a platformer. And now I'm going to change these two colors here. This top colors, the one that you'll turn into the top, and the bottom ones, the one at the bottom, obviously. So I'm going to make this one uh, maybe a dark blue, and this one a very light blue. There we go, a basic backdrop. So there you go, you got one level to the game, and there you go. Have fun.